The main message of this demonstration is that there are red lines that President Zelensky must not cross during his meeting with Vladimir Putin in Paris. He must not agree to give up on any Ukrainian territory, say the demonstrators. Also, he must not agree to hold elections in the occupied parts of Donbass while Russian-backed armed separatist forces are still there. And also, he must not cede any ground on Ukraine's ambitions to join the European Union and NATO. I don't trust him. From what he's done so far, he never sticks to one line. He promises one thing and does something completely different, the opposite even. We came today to support him so that he would not make mistakes, mistakes that could be fatal for Ukraine. We don't want war, but we don't want to give up on our interests. It's a demonstration of support, support to help the Ukrainian president avoid missteps. If there are missteps, then it could turn into a protest. But for today, it's about making sure Zelensky doesn't cross those red lines. For his part, Volodymyr Zelensky has said that he will not cross those red lines. But he's not exactly heading into these negotiations with Vladimir Putin in a position of strength. The ongoing impeachment proceedings against Donald Trump in Washington have cast a shadow of doubt over American support for Ukraine, which has been so crucial to this country in its standoff with the Russians. And also, the host of the meeting in Paris, French President Emmanuel Macron, has made it clear that he wants to improve his relations with Vladimir Putin, something that has got a lot of Ukrainians very worried indeed.